Hello. Hi, Spike. How you doing? Good, good. Tell me more. I'm missing you now. Sorry about that. No problem, that's fine. Um, basically, uh, is it alright if I ask you a few questions? It'll only be three or four questions. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so I'm studying uh, sports and for a report I have to do, uh, I do it on like, a specific subject. So I've chosen banned substances in boxing. So the first question I'd like to ask you is, what is your understanding of doping and banned substances in boxing? So if you had to explain it to someone that didn't know, what would you say? Yeah, so you just you just take extra precaution when it comes to stuff like that, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely, because um, you know, I'd be terrified because um, you know, if I was to be a drug test or take some medication, you yeah. know, it would harm my own career. I think that's because people would think, oh, he done, he must have done laws on uh, drugs. Yeah, definitely, and you've obviously been involved with professional boxing for a number of years now. Um, yeah. Could you tell me a couple of the practices that happen um, to find out that sort of drug cheats so during competition and like in training? Well, um, there's the random test and um, you know, I, I don't know uh, the details of it but it's like a Yeah, so uh, what is your personal sort of views on somebody that use banned substances in boxing? Well, yeah, absolutely. Don't need to hold back. <laughs> well, no, I think it's absolutely sickening, you know, it's disgusting because, you know, like, it's just such a tough sport and people just staring at damage to people and, you know, performance and drugs is just proper cheating, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Um, do you think that boxing's strict enough on people that actually fail drugs no, tests? No, absolutely, definitely not. I don't, I don't, I don't think, it's, I think uh, boxing should be banned for life. You know, yeah. if you're caught taking a performance and having some drug, like, you know, of, uh, you know, like, I don't really know much about something that's true, like, you know, like, if they say one thing, say if some bloke took you to or something, then you get caught, mm -hmm. so, like, you know, by mistake, fair enough, uh, a small band, you know, for his, um, Mm -hmm. But for somebody who's using, you know, um, going out purposely with uh, performance and drugs, I think they should be banned for life, you know, no second chances. Um, mm -hmm. That's the right view on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, what? Don't think it, I don't think there's enough tests tonight, right? I don't think right. it, uh, it should be a lot more tested than there is. Yeah. What do you think, so you sort of answered my next question there, I was just going to say, what do you think boxer can do to prevent drugs um, cheats in the future? I think there should be more frequent tests and more, uh, more random testing, you know, mm -hmm. a lot more, you know, because like as I say, I'm in my 10th year and uh, I've only seen them once since they came to the gym. That's crazy. You know? And that was because um, one of the guys at the gym was fighting for, um, I think it was an or a title. question uh, why do you think boxers actually use it do you think it's a f for financial gain or do you think it's just for the winning aspect of it well I think um, both both because when you're winning you get the financial gain you know I think uh, yeah. you know I think it's to do for both four reasons really 
Mm-hmm. But again, I don't, you know, maybe I don't really understand too much, but you know, I think there is guys out there that are making a lot of financial gain and are definitely, you know, suspect in the end. All right, well, thanks a lot, Spike, uh, for doing that. It's going to help me a lot in my, my project. No, don't worry about it, God's sake. All right. Thanks a lot, Spike. Good luck in the, the rest of your career. All right. Good, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Well, there you go. A wee interview with Spike O'Sullivan, professional boxer with a record of 23 and 2. He's fought big, massive names such as Chris Eubank Jr. and Billy Joe Saunders. Unfortunately for him, he was on the receiving end of a loss that night. Um, against Billy Joe, he lost on points, and then again, Chris Eubank in a very spirited effort. He was ended up, he was retired, and he's chasing big things still now. So that was his thoughts on. Um, performance enhancing drugs in sports and boxing and it was very surprising for me to for me to hear him say that he's been involved now in professional boxing for 10 years and he's only ever seen someone come into the gym to test a fighter once that's insane and it and it sort of leads me to think that the authorities only really care when it's big money involved or it's a big title fight because they said it was because one of the boys were fighting for an interim t- uh, world title and that's why they were in, which is crazy. And he he's been in big fights now as well. He's fought Chris Eubank Jr. and he's he's fought uh, Billy Joe, as I've already mentioned. And and they weren't tested in training. He did say that he'd been tested urine. His urine had been tested and his blood had been tested, but that was pre and post fight, as in on fight night, but not actually in the run up when the steroids could be used to gain that edge in training because that's when you're going to be using the steroids it's not for fight night it's not really going to help you fight night steroids are a sort of long-term drug well they're a short-term drug actually in the sense that they'll give the person that takes them a lot more energy and stuff to do stuff and it'll get faster results however it's not going to really if you take steroids the day of a fight, it's not really going to help you in the fight, it's really in the training, so it's really surprising for me to hear him say that he's never been tested in the run-up as in, in, a, in a 12 week or an 8 week training camp. So that was really nice of Spike, um, and I thank him a lot for doing that, and I wish him the best in the rest of his career.